Hello, everybody. This is Tiffany Sunshine Round. And tonight we are talking about the top 10 showcase artists. And we are connecting with them because the artists that are on with us tonight are a part of the Road to Success concert that is going to be taking place in October. Um, I'm super excited about it. Um, I know that um, Ro P, who is my co-host for the Top 10 Showcase, had an emergency tonight, so she's not going to be able to join us. But what we are going to do is... Um, the last time we were here on the Five Star Artist Podcast, mm -hmm. she released her video with us right here on our podcast tonight. Um, or sorry, last time that we were on our podcast. So two weeks ago, she released her video with us for the first time. It aired with us for the first time. And so we're going to share that video with you again before we get into our Top 10 Showcase Road to the Top Episode 2 tonight. So make sure that y'all watch. Listen, love, heart, all that good stuff. And make sure that y'all follow Ro P on Instagram and Facebook. On Instagram, it's at ropehill.621. So ropehill.621. And here is her video. I'll wait. All right, all right, y'all. So, oh, there it is. All right, gonna make it sure I wasn't uh, hitting the right button. So this is what we're about to do. We're about to get into it right now. So tune in. <laughs> Always lying, sick of sitting here, always crying. I'm about the way you think it's not focused me. You didn't want me when you had me. Don't get mad when another one grabs me. You play games, so now we're through. I'ma do me, so keep doing you. I can't believe how gone you had me. Who you thought you were was trying to be my daddy. And then you flew me for way too long. Next time around, I'll make you I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait for love. Cause the next time it's gonna be right, so I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Cause the next time it's gotta be right, so I'll wait. Man, how could you feel me like that? I had your back like spinal taps when things got whacking, boy, you can't deny it. You can't deny it. Never thought that you would just see me, but I loved you for many reasons. And now that the love is gone, and here I stand alone. I wait, I wait, I wait for love. Cause the next time it's gonna be right, so I wait. I wait, I wait, I wait, I wait for love. Cause the next time it's gotta be right, so I wait. Video. The directors. Yes, yes, yes. So that was my girl Ro P's video. I'll wait. What did y'all think of that, Frank? What did y'all think of that son of hit? Y'all think was y'all grew with that? Was that how did that go for y'all? Y'all love it? Yeah, that was, like it? That's lit. That's lit. <laughs> I, I heard that song. She played it for me. Y'all, that's lit. Nice, nice. Well, yeah. I'm so proud of her. Um, she has been nominated for an award already, and that is her first um, directed video that she has put out. Um, she has also helped direct a video for Dusty Winchester. So um, she's doing a lot of great things right now. And that's my sexy co-host, Miss Ropey Hill.621 on Instagram. So y'all make sure that y'all go and follow her. I'm going to drop the video link in the comments here in just a second so that y'all and 
go and save it. Subscribe to her YouTube channel. Um, and just, just make sure that y'all follow my girl. Okay. Right now, like I said, she had an emergency and she couldn't be with us tonight. So please say a, a quick prayer for her family that they are okay. Um, I know that they're going to be all right because they're in God's hands. Um, so just wanted to make sure that we showed love for Miss Ro P because she couldn't make it at the last minute. And we want her and her family to know that we are here in prayer and supporting them. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right in. Both of y'all have been our Artists on the top 10 showcase, which takes place every third Thursday at First and Goal. And so both of y'all were out. Um, son, it's been a while since you came out. It's been a couple of months. Um, Frank, you came out not the last showcase in July, but you were out there in May. Um, I wasn't feeling well that night. And so I missed you performing live. But I was able to see the videos. Yeah. I was able to check you out. Um, I actually was the one that connected with you to make sure to get you out to the top 10 showcase. And, and you were a hit. Ropey, right. she said she immediately liked your sound. She liked, you know, she kind of like she liked your vibe, all that good stuff. So we officially um, said, you know what? He is one of our top 10. Um, we're loving his vibe. Um, we're all about um, promoting R&B um, here in the Queen City and every wear in major cities um and you just really really brought it um frank um son of hit i know your mom she refers you for the top 10 showcase and you came out and you just wowed everybody like we weren't expecting all that you did that night young man like you just had everybody just just dumbfounded they didn't know what was going on when you started beatboxing like uh, you was beatboxing, and that's back in my day. That's when it was popular back in my day. I didn't even know that people were still beatboxing nowadays, but they are. And you just, you just was a, a nice reminder, and everybody went crazy as soon as you started uh, beatboxing. So you definitely became a crowd favorite very, very quickly um, with that beatbox that you did for us that night for the Top 10 Showcase. So you are definitely bringing something different that people do not expect. Um, I know that you uh, uh, did, a, was it one or two of your uh, rap songs, but then when you went into that beatbox, like you just took it to a whole nother level. So um, I just wanted to let y'all know why y'all are on the road to the top for the top 10 showcase that we, is going to be taking place on October 21st. Um, as of this evening, I'm pretty sure we have a location, but I don't want to say nothing yet until I look at my email and confirm. But hopefully by the time we get off this evening, I will be announcing the location for the October 21st top 10 showcase road to the top concert and so i am very very excited with all of y'all all of y'all um all of our artists um we announced the our artists starting last month um so gaia is going to be on um the top 10 showcase um mm -mm. austin tyler is going to be on there siren water and of course miss um roe p hill herself is going to be performing so now we've added y'all we've got frank grant and son of hit and we will see if our other artists come on because this was a requirement so if you can't make the time to be on the podcast tonight unless it's like an emergency you don't broke down somewhere or the a hurricane that got over your house if you can't make it for the um the interview on the five star artist podcast and the top 10 then we we find somebody else to come on that's just that's how it is so <laughs> thank y'all for I'm making the a, time um to I'm come out tonight Yes, yes. Like it's a whole plan. We want to make sure that y'all are invested in this because we're invested in y'all. We're inv invested in y'all's artistry and what you're doing. So, son of no, I said I'm at an event tonight. I just walked off from there to come do this real quick. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. When are you going on? That's do you know what you're doing? On? Yeah, I got, I, it'd be like I got like 20, 30 minutes. I'm good. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to. Make sure that I can get into the comments right now because I want to make sure. Uh oh, there's Q. There she is. There she is. Hey, boo. Hey, y'all. How you doing? Hi, girlfriend. Hey, what up? How you doing? What's Good. Going on? 
I just did my spill. I was like, look, this is this was a mandatory interview tonight. So if y'all ain't make it out tonight, we got other artists that we was gonna replace y'all with. And I was like, my girl better come on. She better come on here now. <laughs> she was trying to be on CP time. She better come on. <laughs> Always like never failing. But I heard yeah. that and I'm so glad I made it as well, y'all. I had yeah. to, you know, I'm a little tardy. Please excuse me for that. But it's because I didn't want and I didn't want what was in the way to, you know, be a part of the right. Yeah. Yes. But, um, listen, I heard you saying, listen, I hope y'all invested in yourself because we're investing in y'all. And I just want you to know that I appreciate that. You know yeah. what I mean? So just from going to first and goal and after, you know, afterwards following the events and the other things that you guys do, you guys mm -hmm. sometimes just have people out there vendoring and then after 10 o'clock the party starts, you know, so it seems yeah. like place is <laughs> it's, it's just nice to be here. And my name is Q Love for everybody who doesn't know. It's like, who is that? But um, yeah. I'm glad to be here as well. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, of course, of course. So the whole part, so back last year, I started off with um, Nuff Said doing the Artist Showcase. So him and I did a few together. You know, he had some really big things that came up in his life um, professionally that's got him all over the place. So we, I don't even think I missed a beat. Within like the next month, I was like, Ro, I can't stop doing this. I'm passionate about this. Like supporting artists is a big deal for me. Um, I didn't even realize how much I enjoyed finding artists for our, showcase our showcases. I love it because every single showcase has gotten better and better and better. And the artists are getting better and better. Even... Um, uh, the first and goal. I'm hearing from them almost every month now, like, whoa, the showcase tonight was all that. It was better than last month. And so we are really gaining some momentum and we could not do that without the artists like you, Q Love, without you, Frank, without you, Son of Pit. We, this would not be possible. So um, we are now, this podcast that we're doing every fourth um, Thursday or the podcast following the showcase is going to be featuring the artists that we are picking as our tops, our top tens, and who is going to be coming out to the fall concert in October. So I was telling the fellas mm -hmm. earlier that I think we got a venue pretty much sure we got a venue, um, <laughs> but I don't want to say something. And then I look at my email and they'd be like, no, the date ain't available. But I'm pretty <laughs> sure we got it. I'm pretty sure. So hopefully by the time we get off, I'll be saying that we got a venue and we are ready to go. So we will see. We will see y'all. Um, I see son of it. I see your mom, L Boogie. She is tagging people. I got like a hundred people tagged on our post right now. Mama is in the house. She is representing right now. So tell mama that we said hello and thank you for her support as well. Um, your mom is a comedian, son of it. So we got to get her out to do some comedy for us. Maybe we can get her to do that when we start uh, in the fall for the, for the concert. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with you, son, because I see you. You got your microphone, your little podcast stuff. So, you know, I try to get my little feng shui going on here, but you got you got the the the, the microphone and everything. So, um, we're gonna start off with you. Um, tell us about your experience on the top ten showcase when you performed for us, and then tell us like how did you get started? How did you get started with doing music, and how did and we're gonna talk a little bit more. So let's 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 back up because I'm excited right now. How did you get started doing music? Um, it's quite interesting because, like, I've always been, I've always been like so close to music, even like at a, like at a um a small like a small age, a young age and stuff. So like, it's like when I was like three, I remember this is a weird memory that I still remember. I was at my grandma's house and like, uh, I was like I had like two spoons. And like I had like pans, and like I was always like we were like beating on them and stuff. It's it's, uh -huh. like, it's such a weird random like thing, but it shows like literally like because like later down the road, I actually learned I self taught myself how to play drums. So it's like it kind of went like hand in hand, to, like how I how much I love music, and also like incorporate it and try to like with um maybe beatboxing or maybe like any type of other music that I like I listen to because I listen to all types of music regardless if I think it's not like my music or if I think it's bad I still think I can feel like I can get something out of it regardless of what people say from like the outside and stuff so nice nice I love that so you was at grandma's house and you had the spoons what was you doing with the spoons 
I was I was beating on the pants. I was beating okay. On the pants. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you was doing that old school stuff. And how old were you when you did this? Uh, I was like three. Three. Okay. All right. So I got a two year old. Y'all might hear her in the background um, every couple of seconds here because she's looking at me waving from the from the crib right now so y'all might hear so she's two and i know that she loves playing in boxes and we got her like these different instruments and stuff so um i can believe it i can believe that at three years old you was already tapping on stuff and using the spoons and and all that do you play any instruments um yeah actually like i obviously i do i do beatboxing i do um i've self-taught myself how to do drums obviously i don't know everything but like I've known like a lot from like the experiences that mostly which is a crazy thing because like I learned everything literally from like a game called Guitar Hero if anybody knows what that game is um, <laughs> and that's literally that's literally how I learned how to play drums and so I, I wow. think I think yeah. Guitar Hero for literally like even being a thing um, wow you know I mean, what I've heard that before but I think every single time I'm like really did you really learn from Guitar Hero so you're you're testifying that you learned how to play from Guitar Hero, like so yeah. taught. Yeah, basically, and it's it's so it's so it's so weird because like literally, like you would think because you have like literally a snare, it's like red, and the blue one is like one of the toms, and the green one's like one of the toms, and you have like the hi hat that like also that's also you have like two hi hats like above them, but you would never think like someone like probably would actually learn that. It's the same thing with like guitar because like from right. like on the guitar standpoint of Guitar Hero, you wouldn't be able to like actually learn guitar. But you should. But the whole point of like Guitar Hero, I think, is also to make you learn new music and also inspire you to maybe pick up an instrument that you've never picked up before that you truly have inspired inspiration from. So I think that's like one of the great things for music in general, because like I think obviously music can make you feel a certain way because music is supposed to be extremely powerful in the right hands. Right. I love that. I love that. I do truly believe that music is. Um, it can be so a way of expressing yourself. It can be a way of showing who you are as a person, as an individual. Um, it can definitely be a form of self care. Um, listening to music can be, you know, therapy. Um, but I really, really think that all music, regardless of what genre it is, is just a way for people to communicate in a, just a very artistic way. Um, and that is something that all three of you do differently. Um, so when it comes to genres of music, um, son, what do you consider your genre? If um, someone would say, what do you do? What's your genre of music? What would you tell people? Like if I'm like for my, like for my actual music that I make, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this, this is, uh, this is kind of like, um, a hard like thing to say. Cause I don't want to like put myself in like one genre. Cause like, mm -hmm. I know Cause like even like what like the least thing that I'll listen to is country. Nothing against country actually, because I think country is like one of like like a gem to behold for like right. music, like especially old, old country. But like right. it's like something that I would like. It's like my last thing to listen to. But if I if I truly had to like make a um a, like a genre for myself, maybe like rock rap thing kind of in a way. Cause like I'm I'm a big metalhead. I love metal. I've always been like I've always like went to that like even like when i was like in middle school like all my friends right. like we all listen to like like slipknot suicide silence pierce the veil bring me the horizon okay. like, like all those bands like they like i grew up on them and like okay. and there's, there's so many fucking more but like yeah okay okay i like it i like it i think that um i agree with you from listening to your music i definitely agree with the pop i definitely agree with the rock and definitely with the rap um but you you just all of y'all are unique in your your own way. Like all of you have a sound that is unique to yourselves. And even though y'all can probably um, fit in different uh, genres, you know, as individuals and as artists, but y'all can really kind of cross different genres. Um, and I really think that that's how music is these days. I mean, you're hearing you're hearing people doing rap with country with country um, artists and the same song, um, you know, you're hearing metal with 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 country. You're hearing uh, R and B with pop. Um, there's uh, artists are just crossing genres nowadays. That it is really kind of hard for you to pinpoint and say, "I'm this type of artist." 
because there's so many different ways to cross genres. And I just think it's good. I think it's something that our generation um, right now is embracing. And I really, really think that with the, the state of our culture nowadays that people are able to express themselves in ways that they weren't able to do maybe 20 years ago or 30 years ago. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, Frank, how do you feel about that? Do you agree with that? Do you feel that artists are more comfortable now crossing different genres? And I'm asking you because out of the other two artists, you're the older of the three. And then you and I are probably in the same age range. So that's why I'm coming mm -hmm. to you. Do you think that artists nowadays are able to cross genres more easily than they were like when we were in our 20s? <laughs> I think so because of the access they have to music now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Because like back um, then you ain't, you know, the internet changed the game. So you can hear stuff from everywhere immediately. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it gives you, you more influence. Can. You, know what I'm you definitely can. Yeah. Um, I can't think of the artist right now, but it was the artist. Um okay, so he's the real controversial artist right now. He came out as being gay and he did the the country song with um Lil Nas, Lil Nas, yes. Lil Nas, yes, yes, yes. Lil Nas, Lil Nas. Like, yeah. he is so phenomenal as an artist. He's a brave person. Um, but that song was a perfect example of crossing genres and working with other genres in the same in the same song. Um, what do you think is another good example, Son of Hit? What can what other song can you think of by by two artists that that collaborated together or Q Love? What other songs can you think that they collaborated together and they made like great great music? Or Frank, any of y'all? Yeah. Go first, Frank. Or I, I yeah. go ahead. Uh, okay, so there is Post Malone, so Ozzy Osbourne, and Travis Scott. Yes, yes. Oh my God, it's so good, dude. So yeah, yeah. take that. Yes. That song was crazy. <laughs> yes, 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 definitely. What you think, Q? You got it, one for us? It, no, I don't, but it puts me in mind of how Kiki Wyatt took Chris Stapleton's Tennessee mm. Whiskey. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. But now, you know what I mean? So it's just, you know, and when they said, when they had Chance the Rapper do Nelly song on that show. Yes. You know what I mean? So it puts me in mind of that. And that's. Yeah. So now, yes. all of a sudden. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. It just makes me think about like my parents' age, you know, um, how the the African American artists would go and play in the all white clubs and you would see the you know the, the Caucasians dancing and you know with the to the to the African American artists and just how the whole revolution and how the, the evolution of, of music has taken place from our parents' time to now. It's like back then it was you know it was it was a thing like Elvis he crossed genres. Um, you had James Brown, Prince, all of them crossed all of these different genres. And now it's just like, that's just the thing. It's not even right. It's, it is what it is. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, now you can find a beat. Now you can put a beat together. You know, right. Right. You know, like you said, the access, they hit it on. The yes. Internet. Yes, definitely. Definitely. So um, we're going to play something from. I know. You want to sing too? <laughs> um, we're going to play something from uh, Son of Hit right now. Give me one second. Got a couple of things going on. So let's see. Can y'all hear it? No. Okay, hold on. I really like super low because they don't have the light headphones, but I can hear it though. That's the only reason why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's coming. Yeah. So that's probably why I can't really hear it. You can hear it now? Okay, cool. <laughs> Missing peace, you give me the missing peace. I am lost in this case. Today I am not feeling it. Life ain't 
To my way, you guys are everything I gotta slay. But it seems like everything I do, I'm still stuck within this cage. I don't wanna ever go there. But it seems like every time I do, you insult me without a care. I try to bounce back from mistakes. You always try to make it all, even when I try to fake. I'm just trying to be half babe. Even when I try to leave, you creep up behind me. Babe. I'm waiting and waiting patiently. Never to find my key to be at peace at least. Finding, 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 finding. Find myself in the void. Sometimes you are one to avoid. Finding, 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 finding. Trying to find you every day. Seems like you're trying to avoid me. I am lost in this case. Seems like they got a hold of me. I would get in this travesty. I am lost in this case. I cannot find the missing piece. You can be the missing piece. I am lost in this case. A day I am not feeling it. Life ain't never when is it? I am lost in this case. Uh, got out the boy here is empty. Demons trying to kill me in my twenties. It's like DBD here is frightening. Yeah, yeah, I know and you know it's pointless. So much we both know we're hopeless. Curtain calls to hopefully settle this. Uh, uh, yeah. I want to get out. I like Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm trying to find you every day. Seems like you're trying to avoid me. I am lost in Yes. What y'all think of that, Q? What you think of that, Frank? And I feel like, like he said earlier, because we connect on so many levels, and I feel like I just met you, son of his, but we connect on so many levels because music is expressive, you know, and I know what he's saying, like, maybe I don't make music like that or listen to music of that genre often, but when I hear it and it hits me like that, it makes so much sense. I'm yes. like, okay, you know what I mean? I can't get somebody find me, like, I'm right. something, you know, so I definitely feel that. Yes, I felt that. Yeah. I felt that. Um, yeah, I, I mm. yeah. when I tell y'all that I'm like so so excited about the top ten showcase. Um, it is really really taken off, and Ropey has been a huge um uh part of the success of the top ten because she's an artist herself. So I'm not an artist. People tell me that I can sing, but you will not catch me on the microphone, okay? Soon as somebody puts a microphone in my face, I completely clamp up. So when y'all see me get on the, the microphone, it's because I had a couple of them um, bomb drinks by Korean over there at First and Gold, and I done got a little um, a little juice in me. That's the only time you'll see me get on the microphone. Otherwise, I I'm walking around being my social self and talking to everybody, mingling with everybody. That's my part. That's my part of the top 10 showcase is getting the artists out there, supporting the artists, mingling with everyone, doing these interviews. That's me. Put me on the microphone and I'm just like, Ugh. I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, don't, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. So I give y'all so much credit for being able to grab the microphone and just go out there and perform and put your best self out there. Because when I tell you that y'all, all three of you do an amazing show, you all do an amazing show. And Q, girl, you. you're a little sexy fine ass. <laughs> Be just, just, just dancing around and doing your little shimmies and singing need, and all that kind of <laughs> I need to sit down somewhere. I watched the show with India Ire. Um, she did a whole show, you know, I'll be trying uh -huh. to sing, and she stood still the majority of the show. And I was uh -huh. like, oh. 
I no, no, no. You keep on doing what you do, girlfriend, because <laughs> otherwise in your voice, you have a beautiful bo voice, but you're beautiful, you're sexy, and you command attention. You know, some people, they've got the looks and they've got the body, but they don't have the voice to go with it. So it's just like, oh, she cute, but mm, I don't want to listen to her sing. <laughs> You got the whole package. So, I, yes. I a little word, but I definitely appreciate that. Coming from yes, you do. Awesome. You do. You definitely do. You definitely do. So, son, we was talking about the fact that you do, you beatbox. Like, you do that. Like, one of the best that I've heard in a long time. And I'm not saying that just to say that, but I didn't think that people beatbox anymore. Like, is that still a thing? Is there like beatbox concerts and shows and stuff? Or yeah. are you trying to bring that back? Because I haven't uh, heard it in a long time until you. So, so tell me about that. Yeah. So crazy enough, there's an actual whole community about it. Nobody, uh -huh. not not many people would realize it came back like around the early 2000s, like around, I actually think 2000 specifically. Oh, and like, okay. And, it, and it's evolutionized ever since like Dougie Fresh and like a couple other people that's mm -hmm. like, evolutionized mm -hmm. like so much shit that like what you know about Dougie Fresh? That was before your time. Yeah. You know about Dougie Fresh? <laughs> I, I, know, I, mean, like, oh, I, like there. I ain't gonna say I like I know like you got me. Yeah, so right. Yeah, I think like the whole there's like a whole community. There's like it's like it's basically it's like a whole like all all around the world. There's like people from America, people from. France to to Japan to India like like wow. and I have like my own and, and crazy enough not many people will know about this but I do have a beatbox page I kind of like I don't like post on it as much anymore but I still get like ideas from like the posts that I did like so long ago mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I know like um there's like I know a lot of people think like I'm just like out of this fucking world when I do beatboxing but like if you I, I shit you not guys if you listen to some of the people that's like insane like that's better than me you would you would think like they're they're like they're not human they're literally not human at all <laughs> it's an insane like I have inspirations from like certain people like one is like a, a good one is like inertia so the dude has like like he has like one of the craziest inward bases of all time. Like mm -hmm. I know who that is. Yeah, definitely yeah. Know who that is. dude does not sound human whenever he does it at all. Like his beats are <laughs> fucking phenomenal, also. So it's like like when I listen to people like that, and then like people also tell me like I appreciate it. It's just like there's I I I, I already know like they don't know like some of the other people that are like absolutely insane, like who are like crazy yeah. at beatboxing and stuff. So yeah yeah i um so i remember the night that you performed for top 10 um we you were one of the first uh maybe 10 five artists that performed that night and you did you know your your i can't remember what's what rap song that you did or music you know musical song well beatbox is music but you, you know what i'm trying to say what song that you did before you started beatboxing and, you know, everybody was vibing to it, you know, chilling to it and listening to it. And then you started beatboxing. And I remember going, hold up, hold up. Because I was doing an interview. Oh, wait, oh, hold up, wait. <laughs> and then I was just like, oh! <laughs> and then everybody just followed suit like, oh! And it, it just got loud in there. Because there were some people that were in my age range there that was just like, wait, we ain't heard that in a while, but I do, I believe it. I believe that there, that it's still around, but we just don't hear about it anymore. Yeah. You know? And I feel yeah. like the reason for that is like, I, I, I still stand by this today. I was thinking about this, like actually like two days ago, I still think people who do beatboxing and like who are at a crazy level, mm -hmm. they, 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 get, they, they should get more recognition. Cause like, despite it from like, even though they revolutionized on it and maybe like, I hate to say this, but maybe some old heads will like think like, ah, oh, Dougie Fresh is still the best and stuff. But it's like, you have to give credit to when it's due. Right. Like to when like to, to other people who are like also evolutionizing something that was so unique to one person. And now it's evolutionizing in like general. So mm -hmm. when I like, you know, and I'm not saying like every single person is like that, obviously, but it's like, like when I look at their follow list, it's like, Maybe they should get more collabs. Maybe they should be for like collaborating with more famous people. 
maybe they should be like just getting like a better like broad band like what like their own concerts in general like tours and stuff and i think it'll be great for like them and stuff obviously maybe some of them may not care for that as much but like to like maybe spread the the universal language of music and what you can do with it i think that would be great I love that. I love that. So we already talked about Dougie Fresh, but who is your your favorite beatboxer of all time? Oh my god, that's such a hard. You, I, you had to have known I was going to ask that question. <laughs> it's it's so hard because like I have like so many inspirations. It's just like somewhat like it's like because like I'm kind of also new to like rap too, so this kind of corresponds to like what I was saying with like beatboxing and everything. So it's yeah. like, um, like I. <sighs> If I had to pick like a, a five, like five that I know from the top of my fucking head, I would say is one called Vokada. Um, okay. Uh, Vokada. Um, man, this this is this is hard. I don't want to leave you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't um, put you on the spot. I don't put you on the spot. Yeah. I was top five when he said this was hard. So that's yeah, good. this is super hard. Yeah, just give me one, just one of your favorites. Otherwise, in Dougie Fresh, because everybody knows Dougie Fresh, right? Yeah. Um, I would say, I would say Vokada, like, or okay. B-Art, like, Vokada or B-Art, like, those two okay. are, like, insane. Vokada is actually, he's, like, when I first saw, like, when I first, like, seen him, he was, like, probably 19, shout out to him, and, like, uh, and also with B-Art, because shout out to B-Art, B-Art also, he's from France, I believe. Okay, um, you gotta tag them, you gotta make sure that you tag them in the comments. <laughs> So they can see your shout out. And like that was it was just completely yeah. insane, like how how great they are. Um, yeah. I think Volkada is probably the biggest influence on or even like he's probably the king of outward and inward base, like right now. And he's only like 20, okay. 21. Um, okay. How do you spell his name? Because I've never heard of him. So um, how do you spell his name? V O C O D A H, I believe. Actually. Okay. Okay, um, okay. I'm gonna look him up. I'm gonna look him up. Okay. I'm, I'm learning something from you tonight. I'm learning something from you. <laughs> he, like, the, the dude's, like, literally fucking insane. Like, I only know how to do, like, one of his inward bases, like, that, like, out of the plethora of a fucking shit that he can fucking do. So it's, like, it's, it's crazy. So. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to, you said VOC, what, what, what? <laughs> VO, VOCO, uh, okay. DAH. Oh, D A H. Okay, I found it. I found him. I found him. Bo- Bo- Boca the beatbox. Got yeah. it. Boom. Found him. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to make sure that I check him out because I've never heard of him before. And since you called him out as one of the as one of your favorites, um, I'm going to make sure that I check him out. Okay. So um, I'm I'm about to ask you. Can you can you do a little a little for us? Can you do a little for us? I, I, I probably could, yeah. Actually, okay, it's all yours. <laughs> cool. Um, uh, <clears throat> okay. Y'all 
her sister, her sister will is like, I'm I'm done. I'm done with being on baby duty right now. So all yours. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do y'all see the reason why he's one of our top ten artists that's coming to the October show? Do y'all see why? Y'all see why? <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know you asked me if you were going to be performing. I was like, I'll, I'll put everybody on the spot. So y'all should know by now when y'all listen to me and y'all listen to any of my podcasts that I'm going to put y'all on the spot. So uh, I hope Frank and, and Q, that was y'all's, y'all's um, warning that I'm going to be like, um, <laughs> all right. Okay. So Frank, um, before we, uh, I'm sorry, son of it, before we move on to talk to our other artists, um, tell us um what's next for you and how to find you on social media um i my dream with music and i know you didn't like really say this but i think it's very important for me like i think my dream in music is like for me to to uh to try to change the world with it um if not even run it it's like juice world did so that's really my dream obviously i want to people to be inspired and maybe find something new with it i think also like uh, don't be afraid to like, you know, try to find something new in music. Like, I think that's the bigger, like, importance. Um, I hope that for my music, it's like, obviously I have like more music that I'm like going to be like doing more because I like, literally I have like over like 300 songs in my head literally that I want to do already by that by itself. Um, I have, like, there's so much, there's so much more like literally by my, like by itself in my phone. Like that I have like probably over 200 and that's not even the 300 songs literally that I want to like also already do. So like, um, yeah, I think like me like perform more is like literally the biggest thing for me. It's, I feel like it's like a good drug and there's nothing like it. Um, it's like the best feeling in the world for performers at least. It's like you literally, you feel like you can do anything, you know? Um, so I think that's like, like my big dream, you know, to like try to like, do as much as possible with my music. Like I said, I just want to like change the world. And like I said, even if, if I can't even run it like Juice World did. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I love that. You, you want to change the world with music and you really just want to leave an impression. And you definitely have done that. You've done that with me. Um, you've done that with my, my co-host Ropi. Um, your mom is like a huge part of your music and your life. Um, she is uh, always, you know, reaching out to see, you know, how she can get you on the different things. She goes with you to your shows. Um, I just love your mom and um, just make sure that you tell her and send her our my love to her um, and let her know that I appreciate her introducing you to me because you definitely are um, an amazing artist and I'm very proud of you and I'm really looking forward to having you back on the Top 10 Showcase um, and definitely looking forward to hearing you live in October. So thank you so much. Um, uh, stay on with us because we're going to be interacting just because okay. we're moving on doesn't can I, mean uh, say one more thing before I go. Or yeah, before yeah. I say you sure can. Oh, shout, shout out to my friends that's actually in the chat right now. <laughs> my friends. Yeah, yeah friends. I see. I see quite a few people in here. Yeah, you got a big Jamie, following going on right now. <laughs> my friend Ty, my friend Quan, my yeah, my friend John, my friend yeah. Like shout out to all you guys. I appreciate you guys for coming. Like truly, I love you guys. Liza Lake family. Thank you. Thank you. You have a you have a very big support um, system. Um, not just with your mom. Not just with us. Um, but I can tell they've been they've been shouting out, tagging people, sharing and everything. So um, that's, what's up. that's what's up. That is what's up. Um, OK, so, Frank, I know you're going to be performing soon. So we want to make sure that we talk to you before you um, have to get off and perform. So where are you at right now? Where are you performing? Down here in Wilmington, we downtown. About to do a stand at the cellar swap. Okay. All right. Nice. Nice. Um, tell us about you. How did you get into music? How long have you been in the music biz? I used to rap back in the day, but then like more recently, I write all the genres of music and my friends heard me singing some of my songs I wrote. And they was like, man, why you don't sing? I was like, cause I ain't never want to sing. <laughs> <laughs> and they were just like, well, you might want to try it. So I went and did some shows, did some open mics, did some stuff, and 
it kind of just took off for real. Now I got a full band. I'm doing, I'm booked five, six days a week. You know what I mean? Just busy. <laughs> Yeah. I love that. I love that. So do you have your, do you, well, I know when you did the top 10, um, of course you didn't have your band with you. Do you have your band with you tonight? And what's the name of your band? Frank Grant and the Filler. Frank Grant and That's the what? What was the, the second one? The Filling, like, the I have a feeling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, yeah. So, what what I've heard is your R and B kind of soulful um, vibes and artistry. But you said you started off doing rap. So you went from rap to R and B, or do you do both? I mean, nah, I don't really rap no more. But like, I do. When we do a lot of cover stuff, sometimes we get booked for stuff like that. So you do a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? But when it comes to like the music that I'm making, it's it's more like modern blues. It's like, you know what I mean? That type of like so uh Yeah, yeah. I so. really hate that I missed you because you and I were connecting before the show. I think even up until that right. morning, and then I just like just got sick as a dog and just could not yeah, I heard. Do yeah, I, I just I was feeling horrible and I I hate that I missed it, but my um our guest co-host, so our guest co-host the last three months has been Trey Rhodes. So the Trey Rhodes, shout out to him. Um he's the visionary, he's a visionary, he's a real estate agent. Um he is a promoter, business owner, and right now he is trying to get qualified to be to be a pro fighter. So he is really busy right now. Um so big shout out to Trey doing the damn thing out there. And so he made sure that he got some footage for me. And I was I, I, I hate that I missed it, but I'm glad yeah, that you um that you still you still came out even though you knew that I wasn't going to make it. So I appreciate that. Um, so yeah. tell us kind of like where you are in your career right now. Because you said you're kind of booked out like five days out of the week. So is this your full time now? Yeah. Is this what you're doing? This is, this is yeah, life? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're a little bit everywhere in North Carolina. I'm going to be all Emerald Isle and Hampstead and stuff like that next week. I do a lot in Wilmington. And I got some stuff supposed to be coming up in Charlotte soon. I'm gonna make sure I tap in, let y'all know. Please do. Yeah. Yes, I please do. I'll be trying to catch a show, but I'll be like, oh, I'm staying in Charlotte. <laughs> oh, that's right. right. Didn't y'all perform on the same night, yeah. you and Frank? Um, yeah, that's when I met him. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. This man really does perform like every night. Like, and every time I have a good night at all, like, <laughs> Performing tonight, like I think it was Sunday night. I was free, and then it, it wasn't. Yeah, good. man. Dang, you know I gotta catch him while he's here. So definitely let me know. Yeah, yeah. I um, yeah. I have to find. So what I would like for you to do, Frank, is make sure that you tag me and tag the top ten because the whole part of this artist support artist showcase is to make sure that we are following y'all. We're not just you come to the showcase and that's it, as you can see, because y'all are here, right? right. But we want to make sure that we are continuously supporting y'all and, and, and continuously um, promoting y'all because y'all are our favorites. And we want to make sure that y'all are, right. are represented on our end um, because y'all gave us y'all's time and y'all y'all's um, your talent by coming out for the top 10 showcase. So um, definitely want to know where I can see you live myself since I missed you. Um, so I don't have to wait until October. So what is, I know right now you said you're in Wilmington. Where are you at? Let's say the next couple of weeks. G give us the lineup. Let's tell, tell us where you at. <laughs> the, ne the next couple of weeks we got, like I said, we got like, we leave for, well, I got like two more, three more shows here. And then I got, I'm, I'm going to be like out more head city way. Like oh god, like um, like Emerald Isle and all of that. We got a couple shows out there, and then my man supposed to be lining up something. I think at Legion down there in uh, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. So that'll probably be like a couple weeks. So once I find out, like whenever I get down that way, we supposed to be down that way, like Petra's or the Legion or something. But they was telling me, but I don't really know yet. I'm just waiting on the dates for. Okay. All right. Are you your own manager or do you have a manager? 
I pretty much do everything. I do the flyers, I do the booking, I do everything. But I got some people that I'm working with now that want to help. But I pretty much do everything. Nice, nice. Well, I know with you getting busier, that that makes you busier. But I applaud you for for handling everything on your own right now. I know that um, for a moment. I was um, managing uh, two artists and it was a lot of work. And I decided yeah. that I, this is where I wanted to do my focus. So I do more consulting now versus management, but it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of managing and shuffling and all that good stuff. So I applaud um, artists when I meet them and they're like, no, I don't have a manager. And I'm just like, why don't you have someone? You need a team. You need somebody because yeah. I'm sure that I it gets some people that's really kind of like trying to chime in and help and do stuff now that you know. But you, I'm still self sufficient. I'm still used to doing it myself, so I don't be waiting on them. And they be like, "Well, why you ain't asking?" I'm like, "Cause I don't be asking. I just be doing." Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I get it. Yeah. I get it. I totally get it. I totally get it. Um, son, I didn't ask you that. Do you have a manager or are you self managed? Um, not necessarily. No. Besides, like, <clears throat> like my mom, like, mm -hmm. my, like book shows and stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, like speaking of that, there's like a group that I'm kind of somewhat in right now. Uh, mm -hmm independent artist group and stuff and like they're kind of like needing a manager and stuff so like as of right. right now like they don't even have one so like but that really has nothing to do with me so i don't even know why i actually said yeah. that but like yeah um, yeah i think like for me like it's like i don't have one obviously if i can find the opportunity to perform at least to try to be happy with like music and give people right. the time then I'm, I'm okay with that for now right 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 well, your mom is definitely on it. She sees stuff and she's like, yes, I need my son in this. And she's on it. So in, in a way, you, you do, you do. But yeah, for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Frank, I know that you're managing yourself right now. What about you, Q? What do you, do you have a, a manager right now? I do not have a manager set in stone. I okay. I can call, you know. Okay. Things, but I do not have a manager. Not right there. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. So, um, so Frank, for you, um, before music, before you became the hot, the hot man, you're booking five shows out of seven days a week. What were you doing? What was Frank doing before, before music? Man, a whole lot. I used to own a couple of things. I'd have been through the trenches. I done did it all for real. Okay. You know what I mean? Just, it's a long okay. story. It, it, you it went, gets out. You, it went gets, on, you went on the block, were you, Frank? Were you? <laughs> nah, I was. I was everything. Like, <laughs> <you feel? laughs> I'd have been everybody. Like you, real, you know? right. <laughs> yeah, I'd have been everybody. I'd have been the boss. The, you know what I mean? All of them. But you know, okay. I'm chilling. Okay. New okay. life. Okay. New life. New lease. Okay, okay, I like it. I like okay. it. He being in incognito right now, y'all. He being incognito <laughs> right now. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah, so, what is what would you say is your 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 song? Like when people hear Frank, they think of this song. What's that song for you? It's crazy because I got like I don't really let people hear like too much of like my original stuff heavy. But it's two songs that everybody know know is the uh, the songs that I perform. One is called Free, and one is called Habit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. <laughs> so we have one of them. We have one of them right here. So yeah. that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna listen to them to one of them right now, y'all. Yeah, it just and got this mixed one is last free. night. Okay, yeah. I got it. We got it because we're the top ten showcase, y'all. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> One day I'm gonna be everything I wanna be. I don't let it get the most of me. One day I'm gonna be free. I wanna be everything I'm gonna be. My future right in front of me. One day I'm gonna be free. One day I'm gonna be free. 
Start it off. <laughs> yes, yes, I love it. Like I love your right. voice. It just just make me all tingly inside. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. it's like it's so soulful and just. Uh, I can just feel, I can feel it. Like, I, I felt that. I felt that. Like, right. deep inside, I felt it. Tell me, yeah. tell me the inspiration behind that song. Man, like, basically, you just want to do what you want to do, be how you want to be, like, live how you want to live, feel how you want to feel. Like, uh, you you know, a lot of people, like, the song he was, he was playing, like, you feel like you boxed in. You feel me? Like, I just one day I just was like, you know, I'm gonna do what I want, like <laughs> how I want. And right. I, I never wrote that down. I just rolled to the beat and just came over that song. Nice. You know, nice. I, so I just, nice. you know, what I mean, I felt it. You know I mean? Well, I know I felt it. Look like Q Love. She was over there feeling it too. When I, <laughs> um, well, no, when he he performed that song. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I mean. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm so I'm see see now I'm see now I'm mad er that I missed it because <laughs> like I'm sorry you guys I know I was looking forward to seeing you too I hadn't seen you since Fusion so I know I yeah. know because you've been on the showcase um two times now Q and so I saw you the first time um no actually I've seen you somewhere else not the top ten showcase so you've been on the top ten showcase twice but I saw you perform. Somewhere off of Independence is where I met you. Uh, who got a banger? Yes, 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 yes. So um, w I was there with Pink Lash, mm -hmm. and I was just like, "Did you hear her? Did, did you hear? Her? Yes. Did you hear that voice? Yes." So I made sure I, I stalked you to make sure that I got your phone number, Q. And. <laughs> Of course, like, yeah, that's you love probably. Why you like that? Probably right. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. Nice, yeah. nice. So, um, the, Frank, the, the crazy um, I know you're here on tonight. Tell everybody about. how they can. I'm sorry. I'm talking over you. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, the crazy part about that song, I just was in a movie like two weeks ago. I shot scenes for a movie. 
and they heard the song. They was asking me about music because they know I perform and stuff. And uh, I played that song for them. So this song, that song is actually the outro to the movie that I'm in. It's oh, gonna be wow. like the last scene. You know. What I mean? Oh. Yeah. Okay. So it's called Bunny. It's called Bunny and Clive. It's like a Bunny and Clive spin Quentin Tarantino type movie, but it's okay, gonna be nice. on Tubi though. Nice. Okay, let me find yeah. out. You on the soundtrack now, Mr. Grant. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually on two of them. I'm on a joint called Coming to Amazing Part Two. I'm okay. on that. And that's what they're about to shoot that. And then the same company, I'm actually meeting with them tomorrow to talk about a script that I wrote. So fingers that crossed. Is that, you know, that, that is wonderful. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Everything has been, been clicking. See y'all. See see what happens when you when you bring artists together and when you bring all kinds of of visionaries and and creative minds together. You just you just come up with so many things. Um, collaboration is is a big thing. Um, nobody yeah. can get anywhere without someone. You don't get where you go. You don't get on this road without somebody, right? So, um, big shout out to you for. You know, taking your music to the next level. I know Son, you know, he's doing what he's doing with his with his rap, with his rock, um, with his beatboxing, you know, wanting to make a an impact on on the world. You know, Frank, you got movies going on, you book five out of seven days a week, you know, you I'm acting, soundtracks, all that good stuff. And then we got the yeah. beautiful Q. We got the beautiful Q love. So Miss Q, tell us what's going on with you right now, ma'am. What, where are you at right now in your artistry and how long have you been sharing your vocals with the world? <laughs> um, so like some of his said earlier, I kind of couldn't escape it as a child. Um, <laughs> my mom sings, my dad sings, but my mom was a singer. She's the one that was singing on stage. He was right. probably at home, you know, um, and I also play drums. So I heard you talking about drums and I'm like, man, I've been in like the band since sixth grade. I did it all sixth grade through high school. So oh, wow. I'm pulling sounds together. That's uh -huh. But it started um, on today, 2020. Um, I was a part of an app. It's called Bigo. I don't know if y'all heard of it. B-I-G-O. I think I've heard it before, yeah. Okay. You heard of it? Yeah. Yeah. And what is it called? What's it called again? Bigo, B I G O. It's okay, okay. So you go live, right? And you have the option to get paid or not. I probably got about three paychecks out of them at the time. I was okay. Like, but pretty much what you do, everybody has a gimmick. So you can either get on there and you you sing. You know, they pay they paid you at that time to just be on live for two hours a day. But if you wanted to keep your friends and your fans, you had to have a gimmick. So mine was singing. And okay. an A&R approached me one day in my inbox and was like, hey, I want you to come to the meeting that we're going to have in Atlanta. So um, basically, he took like, some of the top local artists off of the app that he knew and brought them together for a showcase in Atlanta. Now, at that time, y'all, I didn't have a song. <laughs> right, so right. Like, so you I were doing a cover. You were doing a cover. He said, say what you want to say. And I was like, all right. So what did I pick? Tennessee whiskey. <laughs> Because oh, I, that is, I mean, that's, that song is just, it, anybody, all genres can sing that song. Yeah. You can make it your own. Yeah. And um, Sit On It by Jim Sullivan and Ari Lennon. So that was just <laughs> playing with on the app anyway for my right. followers. So from there, y'all, when I tell y'all I had a play weekend, every weekend at the time. Um, right. I was down in Atlanta every weekend. <laughs> just, wow. Um, whether it was performing or just, you know, maybe recording somewhere. And then that's how Ocean came about. And that's my like song right now. And um, so it's also happened with the car. Go figure. I'm driving crazy, going down there every weekend, turning up. All right, so now I'm responsible. <laughs> so right. did, what that did though was it opened the door to what was in my own backyard. You know what I mean? So I'm over here trying to perform in Atlanta and get these, you know, showcases and try to get to know people and do all that. And right. um, my first show was at um, a spot called Lituations. Oh, I know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because Atlanta came to Charlotte. 
you right. know, so already following their artistry and their showcases. So um, from that show, I met one guy. I'm about uh, to walk in. in. Say what okay, now? Frank. Thank you. Oh, Frank. All right, Frank. I'm going to catch a show. Love, <laughs> thank you. Thank you I'm for hit being you up. on you <laughs> I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna get with y'all. I'm gonna go with y'all ASAP. Okay. Hey, Thank know. you. <laughs> but yeah, so I met him. Um, I met him through the you know, I can get you through a flyer. You send me a picture and just perform at this showcase we do every Wednesday off Independence. And that's where we met. Right, so, right, right. You no, know what happened? I was performing there like every week. Right. <laughs> My one little song, <laughs> but people liked it. You know, right. so much. Um, the, I feel like the recording now that I'm into music a little more, you know, I have been to different studios. I feel like it. It can use more like ad libs, you know, maybe mm -hmm. with the recording, it could be just tweaked a little bit, but mm -hmm. you know, I kept performing it, you know? And so now I'm at a point where, okay, I had to take a standstill and, and tell myself if I'm going to do this, I got to do it right. You right. Know, at that time I'm out there with no management. I don't really know anybody because I <laughs> I lived in Rock Hill at the time performing right. in Charlotte every week. So now that a few people know me and I, you know, I kind of got that face a little bit. I'm going to try to do it right. So I'm at the point where I'm pulling strings together. I just released another song and I'm building a team as I'm doing what I'm doing. You know, so now yeah. I got a artist, you know, now I got a, um, I got a, a studio, you know, so I'm, I'm starting. Okay, okay girl. <laughs> right, more consistently. Because we couldn't keep performing Ocean every week. I was like, we got to right. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, I was telling somebody um, about two weeks ago, I was like, do you have another song? Because we, we, we keep hearing that same song every week. Uh -huh. I need you to sing a different song. Uh -huh. Because when you when someone performs the same song every week, mm -hmm. then it's like, okay, why am I going to go and see her perform? Because I've already heard that song. Yeah. So... So yeah, so yeah, I get it. I totally get it. So your name is out there. People know now who Q Love is, right? So tell us about your second song. What's the name of it? The song that I just released is called Wow. Um, okay. Yeah, when I record, I don't really, you know, I'm a songwriter, but I'm not. I don't pre-write. If that okay. makes, sense. I could, yeah. but mm -hmm. when I, I need the milk before the cereal. So I give me a beat. You know what I mean? And whatever I feel, I'm going to play with it. I'm going to play with it. Now we got a hook. Okay, now I'm, all I need is two verses. All right, let's do it. So, right. you know, so now I'm to the point where I'm starting to do bridges and hooks. But so that's where Wild came from. Wild is just me kind of being expressive, but staying on the same genre as Ocean. And that's more like mm -hmm. R&B, love song type, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to build a whole album off of that. But I just released that last Thursday. So if you don't have it, it's called Wow by Q Love. And that's spelled Q dot love, like two words. Okay. So can we get a little bit? Of, can we get a little bit? Can we get a little bit? You can, <laughs> but I have to. I would probably have to play it for you. Okay. Okay. I saw that one. I was having a hard time sending the file, but I did get to send Ocean. Okay. Um, so let me see. Mm -hmm. I got to get Okay. Call my call my uh, second hand. <laughs> no problem. So let me look because I don't think I got anything from you. Let me look. Hold on. And I'm gonna look for it. I'm gonna look for like, it. Like on YouTube or something. Gotcha, gotcha. So where can we find you? Like, what do you have going on next? While I'm trying to see, did you say you emailed it to me? Yes, to the top ten showcase email. I'm wondering if there's a way you okay. Can, um, okay. I'm looking for it right now. So while I'm looking for it, tell us what you have going on now. So now you have Ocean and now you have this other song. Mm -hmm. Um tell us, tell us what is on the horizon for you. Like what do you have going on right now? I feel like I'm about to just be popping out with songs left and right now. <laughs> I'm about <laughs> to be popping out with promo left and right now. You and got a taste of the good life, girl. <laughs> So that, that's what's about to happen. So the goal is just pretty much to get an album out for you guys um, and let people know, like you said, who Q Love is because I also want to do more genres. I, after singing that Tennessee whiskey over and over at bars and karaoke, now I want to do country a little because I didn't know I had that in me. And, you know, it all started with gospel. So we got I that. I like it. 
just motivated right. by other right. artists because I saw Fantasia. She just came out with a gospel album and we haven't heard that from her in a while. You know yes. what I mean? But that's where it started. Yeah. You know, her mom, you know, so it's just right. I'm just trying right. to expand my horizon, but release something first on the genre that I have introduced to y'all. Okay, so what's your favorite gospel song? Ooh, uh, I got a lot. Um, you see, she put you on the spot too. I, I, she, she already knows. I'm about to get her caught up. So I'm like, "What's your favorite gospel song? You gonna sing it for us? What's your next song? You gonna sing it for us?" <laughs> <laughs> so it, give us a little something. Give us a little something. But before you do, I'm gonna um, play "Cross the Ocean." While you while you come up with something that you want to sing for us, okay? Okay. Okay. Hold on a second, y'all. Here we go. Cross the Ocean by Miss Q Love. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I will cross the ocean. Yeah. Don't make
That's it. <laughs> Girl. I felt all that. I felt all that. Um, is there somebody special that inspired that song? Like, where did that song come from? There were a couple of people, and believe it or not, that wasn't originally a love song. I've just accepted it. <laughs> After right. Telling me, assuming, you know, but I was single at that time. But okay. I had people that I could call on, and I'm talking about friends, you know what I mean? Where because I had just gotten out of, and it had nothing to do with it, but I had just recently got out, gotten out of a relationship, and we were together for some time and living together. So I had to get used to being by myself. So in that time, I, it was exposed to me who was really there for me in life. You know what I mean? Yeah. People that I could just talk to, call on, get to come over and chill with me, chill with them, and we didn't need a drink or a smoke. You know what I mean? Yes. I'm high off you. Just being here. Thanks for making me laugh. I've had a straight. Oh, that's right. She so said I was, was high off of you, off the friendship. You know, just just, I, just having somebody there. Listen, I had a homegirl drive three hours to come get me because I was ready to go from somewhere. You know, yeah. it's not something I do often, but I'm just saying I, I it was those type of people. You know, and right. here. But I would just that's where those lyrics came from. That's what yeah. it was inspired by. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, not everyone has the blessing of having someone that they can just call when they need someone to talk to, you know, someone to talk to someone to just be like, girl, I'm going through something, come over here. But some friendships are not just when you're going through something. Friendships are, are for y'all to support each other during the good times too. So yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, when you can just call up your girlfriend, I feel like I can do that with Ro. Like, I feel like even though we've known each other for a short period of time and we do we do business together, I also consider her a friend because I know she's going to go hard for me. I'm going to go hard for her. And when, when we get on each other's nerves or we feel some kind of <laughs> way about each other, she'll cuss me out. I'll call, cuss her out. And at the end of the day, we love each other, right? So... Oh, I it every I hope I hope that everyone is fortunate enough to have at least one person that they can that they can say will come when they need them to come. So you said it didn't start out as a love song, though. No, it wasn't written as a love song, but everybody. Right. Um, yeah, everybody portrayed song. it as a love song. Yeah, I right. It. I was about to say because accepted it, but that's that's all I saw was a love song. It was about. <laughs> It was about whoever that man or or woman, man, woman, whatever that was in your life, and you was like, "Look, that's that dick was good, and I'm gonna cross the ocean for you." Once I just pull up on you at any time, any time, anything you right, want. like I'm coming, boo, I'm coming. <laughs> but um, the song that came after. Right. Child is a love song, you know. Okay. It does derive from more so my relationship now, you know. Okay. So, um, so I'm just gonna stick to that, you know, for this. Right. Next time, and we'll we'll move on from there, you know. Right. That's the goal. Right, and it works. It works for you. It works. Okay. I mean, you have this real. I mean, all of y'all have this unique voice that no one, no one can match your voice like that. That is all cue. That is all you. And, you know, you have your own, you have like this energy about you, even, even virtually you have this energy about you that just exudes femininity, you know, empowerment, you know, just being really in tune with yourself. That came from um, the gap. <laughs> yeah. That gap. Yeah. I really had to get in tune with myself, literally. Yeah. And started doing yeah. Like meditational stuff. You know, stuff I never, you know, started uh working out at that time. You know, we don't yeah. but um it, it definitely connected me with myself, you know. Yeah. That's a part yeah. of it, loving yourself first. But so, yeah. Yes. I love that. I love that. Um I think when part of everyone's success has to start with within. It really does. Because if you don't if you can't connect with yourself then how can you connect with your fans, your followers, your networks, an and audience. an audience? Exactly. And at first and goal, 
it's a small space for y'all to perform but you but all of the artists take advantage of that space and some people are just natural at taking command of their space and you do that so well taking command of your space like i'm performing right now all eyes on me it's about the ocean and i'm crossing mountains and mo hills and so forth and so on and it's about me and you you command that attention with your voice um how tall are you and i'm asking for a reason how tall are you i'm five two and, and i promise you it's not like that <laughs> it's just when like, i tell y'all later on my hard. instagram yeah go ahead i was just saying and it's not like that like it's, it's nerve-wracking every time as many times as i'm saying i promise you the nerves come back every time it's never yeah. like all right, I'm, I got this. I'm about to do this. Like some, how some of the rappers come out. Like, right, hey, right. I'm such and such from the such and such. It's, right, yeah. right. You know, so I, I feel like I don't have that. <laughs> but I'm getting there. So whatever I command, it's just natural. It's me letting off my energy. And it's right. like people receive it. They receive it. And I love it when that happens. I do. Yes. So I ask that specifically because she is 5'2". Y'all heard her say 5'2", right? Like 5'1 and 3 quarters. Like, okay. With my shoes on. But with my shoes on, hold up. This is why I wear heels and everything else. <laughs> I asked that for a reason because y'all can't tell because she's sitting down right now. But she, she's a little shorty, y'all. But she got that big voice. Yeah. So when I keep saying that she commands your attention, look at her. She's sitting up now. She's sitting I, up I'll now. I'll do it on the video. Like, she, I'm trying to <laughs> when I tell y'all that she commands her audience's attention, she does. And she is fine too, y'all. So she's, she's, she's in a little, a little body with a big voice. And that big voice makes her seven feet tall. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> It does. It does. Uh, yes. So tell us um, what's next for you. Where can we see you next? And tell us where we can find you on social media. Where can you see me next? You can see me next on Monday at Playground. I believe that's where we at. My homegirl Coco, classic Clo Coco. Shout out to okay. her. Okay. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Well, she performed at Who Got a Banger very often. And uh -huh. that's her own showcases. Um, but you said, where can you find? Oh, and you can follow me on Instagram. Um, at it's Qu at it's Q Love, and that's just I T S Q L O V E, and on Facebook, Quadira Love. So Quadira is my middle name, and of course, I just put love at the end, um, just for social media. But when I got on Bigo, I was like, we gotta shorten this name, so I picked Q Love. <laughs> Q -Love and then I got my little little five little fans off of there, so I was like, okay, yeah. Q Love is gonna be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, I love it, and it fits you. It fits you perfectly. It does. It really does. Um, you know what? I'm gonna try to see if I can find this video, y'all. I'm gonna try to let me see because I wasn't there at the last one, so I'm gonna try <laughs> to find this video real quick. Um, so, son of love, before we before we leave, um, share again how everybody can find you. Oh, oh yeah, that is right. I was literally thinking about that whenever she was singing, and you also <laughs> like, um, uh, my Instagram is underscore son of hit underscore um. I'm on, I'm literally on like every single platform from what I remember. Like I um I think that's like well maybe maybe a few maybe that like district kid didn't like well I wasn't able to get on but like basically like any type of platform that you listen to music on I'm on there. So uh it's Sun Hit. Um it's the same thing as you see on here like on my name S O N O F H I T. Uh I have a Twitter but it's not really like for music right now. It's mostly for like when I stream games and stuff like that. Cause like I, I like I, pl I play a lot of fighting games or just like games that I, I truly love, uh -huh. um, and stuff like that. So, uh, and yeah, that's that's where you can find me. I mean, please engage with me. I mean, especially if you have feedback for my music, um, mm -hmm. I think that's very important for us, like as musicians, because obviously it's like for somebody that's like doing something one way. If they were doing something one way and then like it didn't work, but they're always so used to that then they may not know like what else can they do um unless they just have like uh maybe 
people that don't help them out with it. So I think it's very important as us as musicians and other people to, to give us like, you know, feedback um, to each other, because I think that's very important. Yes, definitely. That is important. Um, Q, tell everybody how they can find you. Um, Instagram, it's Q Love, I T S Q L O V E. And then on Facebook, Quadira Love. And then all my um, my music, the two songs that I do have out now, Wild and Ocean, are under Q Love. So that's Q dot Love. And they, it's on all platforms. So YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, whatever you have. I believe even like Amazon Music, just different platforms, you can find it. Even on like social media, if you're, um, you know, looking for a sound on there, it should come up on there as well. Nice. So I found the video from the Baddies Top 10 Showcase. Okay. <laughs> and I am going to pull up. That's how we're going to end. We're going to watch Miss <laughs> 5 2. She's going to perform. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. And I'm going to share my screen and she's going to oh, close no. us. She's going to close us out for the night, y'all. She's going to close us out. Got this really like, um, like your little cheerleaders right now, literally. <laughs> like a different song because when I perform it, it's a little different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let me see. Have a nice show. I'm gonna definitely follow you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Same to you. Appreciate same to you. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. So I think I found it. Let me see. I'm trying to find the best one to play. Okay. Here we go. So we're gonna close out with Q Love. Let me get back into the studio on my laptop y'all make sure that y'all go and check them out and i'm gonna I'm show y'all the video, the video. Let's Why see. Am I i'm not even about to perform and i'm nervous like yeah it'd be like it'd be like that literally <laughs> here we go here we go like just show 30 <laughs> seconds you know like <laughs> Let's see. We're going to see if the internet. Alright, that's enough. They're good. They're good. <laughs> okay, that that was just a okay, snippet, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. All right. Um, y'all, don't be looking at my my mess. Y'all, y'all don't be looking at my echoing. So I don't know if you hear it. It's echoing. So, how long have you been doing music? Since like we're waiting for her. Mm, twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Okay. Okay. First started on live. Yep. I yeah. was scared to sit in front of a camera and sing, and then it went from doing covers on stage. And, right. Um, I messed around and wrote a song playing around in the studio. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know how that go. Yeah. But liked it, you Definitely. know. So, like you were mm -hmm. saying, and I wanted to piggyback on it while we're. Um, mm -hmm talking about it real quick um you 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 can you can hear something over and over like yeah that sounds good you know mm -hmm. that's it that's fire but you don't know what other people think you know what i mean um yes. and not only that if people don't like it it's not because it's bad people come from different backgrounds of music people have different mm -hmm. inspirations in music mm -hmm. you know people have different expectations you know even by just mm -hmm. looking at you you know right. what if i bust out and do a country song they're not gonna see that coming you know yeah it's for just, sure you know, it definitely that feedback does matter yeah. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna play a couple of the snippets. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think that's what we just watched. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Be your signature thing from now on. Y'all see, she she got them. She, she got them. Uh, hold on, let me let me get the echo out. Hold on. There we go. Y'all see, she got them Megan knees too, y'all. Working on them. She got them Megan knees too. So yes, thank you so much, Miss Q Love. Thank you, um, Son of Hit, and thank you to Frank Grant who is doing a concert right now as we speak so thank y'all for coming on i'm looking forward to seeing y'all um on august 20 i'm um, sorry october 21st october 21st um and i'm really excited for y'all's careers i would i can't wait to see where this is going to take y'all um and i'm just proud that y'all gave us the time and y'all gave us your talent on the top 10 showcase and i'm sure ro p feels the same as well so thank you everyone for joining us tonight please make sure that y'all share this throughout the week because y'all just met the number four and five of our top 10 artists so even though we're the top 10 our october concert showdown is going to be more than 10 artists it is it is y'all it's it's, it's going to happen it's going to be more than 10 but y'all get the point these are our top artists, some of our favorites that are going to be coming out to the Top 10 Showdown. And you've met two of them, three of them tonight. Q Love, Son of Hit, and Freight Grant. Everyone have a great night. And we will see y'all at the next Top 10 Showcase, which is going to be, let me look, let me look at my, can my calendar, y'all, because I'll I be getting all my dates mixed up. So the next Top 10 Showcase is going to be, whoo, whoo, whoo. It is July 20th. So our next top 10 showcase is July 20th. And it's going to be our uh, summer jam session and open mic. So we are going to be looking for five female artists, five male artists. And we're going to see who's who's the baddest. Is it our ladies or is it our men? And then we're going to have our, our open mic to finish out the rest of the night. That's going to be at First and Goal in the university area and right here in the Queen City. So we hope to see y'all on the next top 10 and y'all have a great night.